Yo, what's going on guys? Today is an incredible and special day. The CEO and brand director of Lee and Lee, Jameson Chen, is stopping by our warehouse today. He just so happens to be in the States and I got a message from his, uh, one of their, like one of Lee and Lee's employees, Charlotte, great person to work with. That's one of my reps at Lee and Lee. And she had mentioned how uh, he wants to stop by. Craziest message to ever receive. I couldn't believe it, but yes, it is true. He's on the way. He's going to be here shortly. Um, and I'm just so excited. Uh, he's been very impressed with some of the things we've done, with some of the clients that we've reached out to and worked with. Um, so I'm excited to show him our flow uh, and just talk, you know, opportunities and just get a better understanding of how we operate, but also how they operate and, and what they have in store. So honestly, I don't have any expectations. I'm just so blessed to be in this position and I'm just gonna show them around, you know, and have a great time. So we're gonna try to film as much as we can of this visit. Uh, we wanna be respectful of like anything he says, but we're just gonna get the camera rolling, you know. We want, to, we want, we want this to be like a documentary style, so that's the exact vibe we're gonna go for. So thank you all again for watching and I hope you enjoy. It's crazy, man. <laughs> Maybe something's on. <laughs> yeah, I mean. But the campaign is like hard to manage because yeah, it's yeah, still, yeah. the the orientation of the connector is a bit weird, right? No, 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 for sure. But I gotta ask you for real. The strimmers. Yes, go ahead. When we use a strimmer, yeah. we we buy like hundred at a time of yeah. the USB 2.0 hubs. Yeah. Because all these boards only have two. Yeah. Is there a solution? Like, do you guys make USB hubs that we can buy? Or like? Yeah, we do, we do. Actually, because I don't really like USB hub because some hub, like, they don't have this signal magnified IC. Right. Because you need that, you know? Right. Like, if you have so many controllers, and this, the controller for, you know, lightning is very demanding for this USB signal. Because the 2.0 transfer speed is so slow, right? Right. So the one that I we did is one, uh, one, uh, one out of uh, three, and then there's IC in between. It's okay. really small. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm down. I'm gonna send you a sample. Oh, yeah. please. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we got. I got time. It's weird. Because so I think if you for for CPU to be overheat, it has to go in Windows doing some application. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. So this one says just initial, it just crashed, right? Yeah. It's yeah. It's, that's kind of how it is. I mean, or how I've seen it. I think it literally is the 60. Like if I do. I think it's problem with. Uh, believe the motherboard. Have you? Trying to, to talk to EVGA about this. <laughs> yeah, Can you put on uh, 5.8 gigahertz? 5. Point, yeah, that's what I just put it on. Yeah. 5. So it should work. Yeah. Do you usually use the uh, Prime 95 to run the Stress FPU? Did uh, you do that? No, we we typically run like OCCT. That's not that's not like stressful enough. If you use the Prime 95, yeah. Prime I used to run Prime 95, I don't really run that anymore, but that shit, yeah, that shit was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that really stressed out. Yeah. So, and then, you see, like, also oh, high try to do a red one, but it doesn't work out well. At the end, it's always, always the black and white. Maybe you can consider to, not through uh, a physical branding, but through some kind of color mix. Right. No, I mean, um, yeah, some like bro, it was natural color. Even if we just got this fucking strip right here, blue, done yeah. deal. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, bro. Yeah. So I mean, you know, we can definitely talk. I think um, that would be lit. I actually need to ask you, what is the ideal fan configuration? Yo, I got that's the, that, you, yeah. yeah, check this one out. This is how we do our builds. We do it differently. We do exhaust on the sides, but the top is intake. Yeah. So it pushes down, and then it goes all goes out of the side or the rear. Um, because the reason we do that is because if this was exhaust, the CPU gets way too hot, and all of our builds, we, we not not too hot, but like it gets hotter than doing that this way from our testing. Um, because especially if we're overclocking to like 5.9 gigahertz, 5.8, I think I would do, um, maybe give up the rear fan and try to do if you're having problem with your uh, CPU, I'll do push four here because you have room definitely. 
You should have room if because this board is very special. It doesn't have the yeah. armor on top, mm. so this all this area is being PL. No, so I, I would do push pull. You know what it is though too. You know yeah. why we do it is because hopefully one day you can find out a way to like swap uh -huh. uh, the fan blades. I know like Fantax are doing it. Like uh -huh. they have two different models now. Yeah, yeah. What they have? Yeah. yeah, one that's like intake, one that's exhaust, so yeah. that you can always see the right blade. Mm -hmm. So that's why I do it because when it, when all of our clients celebrities look at these PCs and they see that this is intake instead of exhaust, it doesn't look as good. Oh you know? yeah, and yeah. like in a not, like not serious way, but like it does make a somewhat of a difference. Yeah, I agree. But again, we got 5.8 gigahertz on a Maximus Hero. Uh -huh. So that's why I was really hoping for six or 5.9 on this. So we might be able to still hit 5.9. Mm -hmm. But I just gotta make sure that's on performance. And then I'm just gonna put like fucking high pressure on all. And then I say, let's go back to the BIOS and try 5.9. So Lee and Lee is a great company. You know, they make a lot of PC components that we use in our builds. We use their cases. Uh, the Lee and Lee O11 Dynamic Evo is our most used case. It is more for higher end builds. However, um, you know, it is our go-to. This can fit up to 10 fans. And when we typically use these builds, we like to populate all 10 of them with Lee and Lee fans. You know, we like to match the case with the fans. So we buy a lot of their fans. Uh, black fans, white fans, uh, SL120 V2s and SL120 Infinities, and then we buy a lot of their cases, you know, the O11 Evo in black and white. We do use their strimmers as well, which is the RGB light up cables that you guys have seen. So, you know, those are three components that we use the most from them. They also make other things though, like coolers, vertical mount brackets, and a couple other things. And maybe after this conversation, we'll start using some of those more. But, you know, it's all about availability and pricing and all that. How was the, the design process going from like the O11 to the Evo? How did that like process start? <laughs> um, we put on the drawing boards. We wanted to upgrade from you know every single angle. Yeni, we always cared about like the usability of the case itself. You know, yeah. not only just the look. So, and we always design the stuff inside out. We look at you know how can we upgrade modularity of it. How yeah. can we make it so that you know people have more option. Uh, even with just, you know, still the same amount of cooling you can make. Oh, one other thing is important. So, uh, one of the reasons that we make the EVO so modular is because I don't want people to like, oh, it's just another O11, you know? Yeah, yeah. This inverted build uh, that's already built into the case design yeah. that you can upright mount your GPU. We want to make the EVO looks like each it's different, you know? Like unique, yeah. Yeah, but the core concept of the Evo. Yeah, know? for sure. The 16-pin trimmers, <laughs> are those coming out soon, or...? Uh, yeah, have you watched the video that what I did with the Gamers Nexus? It was, I uh, he visited our office, and then uh, you can go go back and check. Oh, yeah, I did watch that video. Yeah, yeah, so uh, the, the prototype he checked out was yeah. it's in its really final stage, and then um, I think uh, uh, the pre-production already did, and then uh, we okay. will start doing this production after uh, Chinese New Year break. So I will assume it will hit the market about uh, mid-March or late March or something. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. He was saying um, like it's pretty much a triple eight pin trimmer, but like in the middle, it's just only the middle of it is a cape. So we have different selection. We have three kind of selection. We have. In terms of cable itself, we have the 12 volt high power with 12 volt high power, and then 12 volt high power with triple A pin. Um, yeah, and then the 12 12 volt high power will pay uh, the 12 high power 12 volt high power will pair with uh, the dual A pin light guy or the triple A pin light guy. You know. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, it's yeah, so. just different variety. You know. Yeah, for sure. If you're serious about allowing us to do custom design work, mm -hmm. like coloring these different components. Obviously, the, avoid the ones that you have to use a riveting on to take out, but mm -hmm. like that would actually be amazing. That mm -hmm. that coincides with our plan, right? Mm -hmm. and, like we would we would be able to scale like in a great yeah. way while still supporting your company. So yeah. fan trays, that entire bottom plate, mm -hmm. that minus the feet, uh, like that cover just above mm -hmm. the GPU brackets, mm -hmm. like 
any of that that we can do anything to would be amazing. Yeah, yeah, sure. We can talk. Yeah, as long as it's too not too complicated. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're all yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think uh, I'm one of the few CEO still handles the products. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of the CEO like. I mean, NZC Johnny used to be in the products, right? He took care of products. Not now, not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> right. So as long as I'm in charge of products, I'm sure. Uh, because I always like tell my team, it's like um, we're not stressful about like um, we need to compete or something. So we need to compromise to come out with the product we don't like my, ourselves. We always wanted to create something that has its place in the market. You know, people always tell me, ah, oh, you need to come up a supply or something because your brand has you know awareness and then you can leverage that but i think it's like our value is like we our name is based on our product unique position in the market so that we are us you know mm -hmm. so if we come up with something you just brand it on someone's structures and then i feel like that's not something that i would want it to do so everything that we come out must to be unique or it has its position in the market, right? Right. Yeah. Do you have any products that you're developing or planning on release that you're excited for? I mean, upcoming? Yeah. Uh, the streamer 12 High Power is one. Mm -hmm. um, and also the Evo XL, we have been teased uh, for a long time. Mm -hmm. So that one, actually, I'm pretty proud because Hell yeah. we, uh, we did the redesign a lot, I would say. That is a probably the the last high end O11 I'm ever going to do. Yeah, because that's a it's so complicated, and I feel like it's it's to its peak. You know, mm -hmm. if we wow. con continue this route, then it's its final form. You know, mm -hmm. because it's that's all the 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 things that the Evo has, but in a more complicated way. It's like. We have the mini that can be able to ship your back multiple tr back, back tray up and down, right? So the Evo XL has that, but in a more advanced way. So the entire multiple tray can be removed. Not only the back panel can be adjusted, but also the entire tray. So that when you build that when you build system in that case, it's a bit different, you know? Coming out uh, along my career is like uh, when I start, you know, Lenny has uh, been in, Created the company found a lot earlier when I was a kid. But uh, so when I'm born in uh, 2017, um, you know, we are really small and then trying to find you know someone uh, out there and then to see what kind of things that I can do to create our product, but also gather some you know competitors competitors information. But down the line, I feel like we are the one that actually invent. Mm -hmm. So. I'm not going to respond, to be honest. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to invent myself. That's it, you know? Exactly. Because um, down the line, I feel like if you only look at something on the market and you're trying to compete with, you know, these one more, you know, add one or take, take one feature here or there and then try to compete with the price, that's when you go down, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So only if you're trying to invent, and only if you're trying to seek for something that's not already on the market. That's how you grow. Yeah. Your own vision. Yeah. I have two last questions for you from me. Yeah. Um, as a CEO, what advice would you give me to be able to be the best leader uh, possible? Uh, I think you're doing great because you're, uh, you know, doing this stream by yourself. <laughs> um, but I think um, just. Uh, trying to do something that's um, unique to the company, you know? Because uh, you wanted to set up um, an image where a customer that can build yourself, but you probably cannot do replicate what you know what you have to be doing, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I appreciate it. And then the last question, as a company from all of us, uh, mm -hmm. what should Paradox Customs like any advice for Paradox Customs to, to, for us to, to allow us to continue to succeed? Uh, I think just brand identity. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we don't. We still don't. Uh, like I was telling you, we don't put any branding yeah, on our yeah. PCs. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe the, the Lee and Lee custom stuff might be the start. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think you can do some like very special mod. You know, maybe just one or two pieces, just put online and then market at very high price. Even myself though, like time to time, I come out with some uh, uh, limited edition stuff. 
I only do it for content, to be honest. Like, <laughs> I don't plan to sell it. You know, I just feel like it's cool. You know,、right. I spend like 10k for prototype. You know, but it's just for show. You know, yeah. That's dope. Yeah,、uh, a position of you, since you're local, and then you can create something that's cool. For sure, at the same time, so it, you tag it as a price where only the, the exclusive people who wanted to purchase it. But it's good for marketing, right? It's、yeah. good for because you have these people good, good to show that you have the craft, right? Yeah. No, it's definitely something we should do more. It's just more high-end one-offs. Yeah.、Um, I think that comes with us having a backlog. You know, we always、mm-hmm. have a high backlog, and it's always、mm-hmm. like we gotta catch up. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, man. Nah, thank you so much, no bro.、Yeah. It was an absolute honor.、Mm-hmm. We all are very appreciative of this. This is、mm-hmm. going to motivate me like、yeah. crazy.、Um, and we're gonna have to visit you in Taiwan too. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Will,、uh, Come in Combitex. Yeah, Combitex. I'm there. Yeah. Yeah. Take tickets are booked. Wow. So yeah, what a crazy time with Jameson. He is such a chill dude. He's young, you know.、Um, he's not like your typical, I guess. CEO or executive at a PC company, so you know it was a great time with him. We actually went to the club after on Friday.、Uh, he took me out in the city. Great time.、Um, definitely not gonna forget that either. But yeah, you know he's so cool, and we have some things in the works. He's gonna help us on pricing, help us on availability,、uh, some better stock, and、uh, some collabs too. I want to hook him up with some dope. Clients that we can collab with, maybe he could he could hook us up with a custom case or some unreleased product. So you know it was a great time. He's so chill, and just know we love Lee and Lee, and we're gonna continue to do so. We're gonna continue repping their products, and we're only gonna get more involved with them. So thank you guys again for tuning in and watching. This was our exclusive、uh, visit from Jameson Chen, the CEO of Lee and Lee. So see you guys later.